Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Cafe Mix. Today, we are back and I think there's something going on. Another hot day, remember to take it easy, Zebra. Oh, it's Torterra, Tor. Ah, it's, to it's a Torterra. The tree on its back is so impressive. Eee. But this Torterra seems like it's not feeling so well. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. I'm having a little conversation. Is it perhaps tired of the summer heat? Well, it's September as of recording this, I would hope so, me too. <laughs> the tree on its back needs more water. Torterra, why don't you take a rest at our cafe? It's cool inside. Will this guy even fit in the cafe? <laughs> He's got a tree on his back. <laughs> I, I think he, it's really happy. Let's energize Torterra by offering some delicious drinks and dishes, Zebra. Sure, during events, of course, special Pokemon will who usually don't visit the, the cafe might stop by. We need to serve them something tasty so that they actually join. So between now and September 23rd, I'm recording this on the 20th, so I'm a little late, but we still have plenty of time to unlock it, so that is definitely something I'll work on. But I also noticed in the news section, I don't know when this is starting, but we have Snorlax popping up too. That starts right after. Okay, so take it as a on as a team Snorlax has appeared. A hungry Snorlax has stopped by the cafe. You can work with other team members and prepare lots of dishes to satisfy this Pokemon. That's cool. How to play a team order. By completing an order, you can raise Snorlax's satisfaction level. So this is something we'll try for sure once it comes out. That sounds like a lot of fun, very peculiar. Um, Yeah, so definitely we will uh, work on that and we get our Cafe Grand Prix reward. I'm guessing it's not gonna be too crazy yet. Number 11. We get 100 acorns. Yeah, it's something. Um, so let's head back out of here. I know. Um, and we got some kind of card here. Have Tor Tor Torterra join the staff, use cafe skills, clear Pokemon icons. Not bad. Okay, so, hmm. Looks like we're good to get started for today then, awesome. So this will be the last time Selby showing up in line unless we have another Selby event in the future. That's okay with me. We'll switch over to Squirtle and this is a brand new dish that we'll be trying out here. Um, I forget what we unlocked in the last episode. Whoa, oh, it's olives. Yeah, it was a little olive tree, I guess. To clear an olive, make a combo next to it two times or hit it with a skill. Once you clear it, surrounding icons will get covered in olive oil. So it actually breaking it makes it a little bit more difficult. We need to clear three Pikachus, which you wouldn't think would be too bad, but who knows. Um, more than anything, the, the Pikachus are separated, so it's going to make it either we need to use a power-up or we need to use three turns to get through it all. I'm going to try to do the first one, using a power-up. <laughs> but the olive oils will cover, or the olive, olives will cover the other olives in olive oil, so that's why it's really good to hit all of them at once, if possible. Mmm, I can see how that could be particularly tricky. Oh my. Um, so there's still one more olive. I'm trying not to worry about it, but I can do that for right now. That'll get rid of one of the squirtles, but the other one is still sort of stuck in the, uh, thing. we got 10 turns left. Okay, we can do this. We can definitely do this. Get all that steamy. There we go. And if we wanted to actually, I mean, I'll do it this way for the fun of it, but I could have just used the one Pikachu. Actually, maybe not. If you only have a link of one, I don't think it counts. That's right. Okay, so there we go, that's a cool little meal there. I mean, I don't know how delectable, it looks like a little tomato sandwich or something. I don't know if I would like that food, but I'm sure somebody out there would love it, so that's cool. Um, anyways, there's our first uh, meal of the day. We're gonna be doing that, of course, a good few more times. Let's switch over to another starter. This is Bulbasaur, of course. We're doing the same dish type, though. Okay, so definitely have to get used to this whole olive situation, but it's crazy that we are now over 200 orders completed in the game. It's been a lot of fun getting this far. Definitely gonna work on the olives as much as I can. Remember that the more I can break in one go, the better, because if not, they're gonna cover each other in olive oil, and that just makes the whole situation a little bit more complicated. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but not perfect. Ooh. There we go, we got all but one there. So I guess I'll get into a corner like this and get at least a few of the nuts, maybe? Yeah, how, how, what do we gotta do? We still have one more olive pit to get rid of. Uh, it's just an olive, not an olive pit, I don't think. I don't know too much about olives, I don't have many often. Uh, not really my type of food, I don't think, but we go ahead and keep doing that. 
There we go. So we need to also match up a bunch of Charmanders. That was not Charmander. Well, that got the rest of them. So as long as we can get rid of that, we will need another one. Hopefully we can get another Megaphone or something. Oh, definitely with this many Bulbasaur, we can get another power up, no problem. 29 Link there, there's our power up. Put it right next to that guy. We got it, we got it, no problem. So we did this one with one turn remaining. But hey, our streak continues, and I do think, is there the um, streak thing going on right now where we can earn up a combo for that? I would hope so. I haven't really been looking at that too much. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't look like it. Hmm, all right, because sometimes that's around. Either way, we're using Mancino for order 203. 50,000 points, 18 popcorn, and 20 whipped cream. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, definitely just try to keep on top of the popcorn as much as we possibly can. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just trying to make the most of it. Whatever, we, we absolutely have to use whatever there's the most of. Oh, that was good. Okay, and now we have this, which this is just sort of a straight shot, so definitely do what we can with that. Honestly, we're doing fine. Probably should have done the stout one there instead. But now we can do the stout one, and that'll certainly get us a power up. Yeah, it's very exciting to hear um, about the updates coming soon. Of course, now we're trying to unlock this tree Pokemon that I already forget the name of. But on top of that, you know, there was that Snorlax event coming up where apparently we're going to use team moves. So that sounds really cool because that's a gameplay mechanic that's just not currently in the game. So I'm certainly fascinated by that. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, perfect, perfect, right there. But there's still a whipped cream somewhere. Oh, right there. I was gonna say, like, where is it? All right, so with three turns remaining, we get this one done. So far, we're doing great. But there is a dish for Blossom. They seem to have loved it. First star out of 19 in total to get. And I think we're good to move to, to uh, order 204, which is going to be for Togepi. We'll use Steenie here. So I did want to talk a little bit more about, you know, what's going on in the world of Pokemon. There hasn't been too much recently, at least in Pokemon video games. We got 40,000 points, 14 tomatoes, and four pumpkins here, all encased in ice, which definitely makes a lot of it complicated, but I'm going to try to do something like that. I don't know, if, maybe that's not the way to approach it here, then. Maybe it'd be better if I did something like that. Maybe it won't make a difference, you know? That was okay. Ooh, this will make a big difference. There's our first tomato delivered. I'm a little worried about this one. Hmm. I see lots of snubble though. So let's try that out. Couple of steamy. Got it. That's another power for us as well. So I'd like to just sort of yeah, break the pumpkins up there. There's a lot to focus on here. So I'll get back to what the topic I was talking about soon enough. <laughs> right now. Let's work on this. I did not break as much ice as I was hoping. But now with a lot more room for the icons, we can really get those in. Very good. So honestly, it might be better for me not to use a combo power-up. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. All right. So a couple of those tomatoes should fall in soon, I would hope. There we go. Well, I might just try to brute force these in for the time being. That was most of them. Ooh, got it. Nice. All right, and as you can see, we did it with two turns remaining. So far, we've had a flawless victory streak. But yeah, there hasn't been too much confirmed in terms of Pokemon games recently, but I know that in the next couple months, they haven't given a release date yet, but I'm sure they will soon because the the Tundra DLC for Sword and Shield should be coming out. I definitely need to still do more in the Isle of Armor. I sort of took a bit of a break from it because I played a lot of it at once, so I got a little burnt out, but I definitely, before the, the new Frozen Tundra area, whatever it's called, comes out, 
Um, I want to get that done, so expect episodes on that soon. But we got order 205, I think it was. We have 40,000 points, five popcorn, and a bunch of it hidden in some mayonnaise, I think. Oh, and olive oil. What a combo. See, a lot of Lucario icons here. Oh, and cheese as well. That's, that's a first. Weird. There we go, there we go. Well, there's another power-up for us. So if I could just bust some of the cheese, it would have been better definitely to have maybe somebody who has a cone-shaped power-up, but this is the suggested character. And that's what I'll go for. That wasn't too bad. I was gonna go for the Blossom there, but I guess I, I made a silly mistake. I'm already down to three turns with this one. What is going on with this? Okay, so what am I trying to do here? I can get rid of those two popcorns. Oh no. Okay, well I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. I don't think so. Oh, definitely not like that. All right, let's go ahead and redeem. We've been doing so well today. It's not too big of a deal. We'll get that one free. And then I guess I'll do this here. And that there. Excellent. Okay, so that's the 10th star for Steenie. So that was the first time we've had a bit of a blunder today, which is fine. We're already halfway through our main orders. If that happens, it happens. Uh, what I'm so excited for is that we're still only 20 orders away, apparently, from getting Bleasel, which is, I'm so excited for that. But, or Floatzel, the evolution of Bleasel, I think. Um, either way, we're doing Charmander now for Bulbasaur. It's crazy that, you know, some of these require so many stars, but we're really starting to get there. So for order 206, we got 80,000 points, eight nuts, 55 vegetables, and eight milk. All right, we haven't found that new event Pokemon just yet. Hopefully that happens soon, but uh, keep in mind how this works. I almost forgot for a second. Gotta mix all that milk and stuff together. Honestly, this level looks like it could be really, really tough. Trying to figure out how I can just sort of combo everything, but most of the time it just sort of argues with it with itself. I was trying to get all this stuff mixed together like that. It's really difficult to do. Oh, we do get some of it there though, excellent. Then we can do that, get more vegetables, get more um, of that. Hmm. The vegetables I'm like barely worried about now. It's all about the milk container getting to where it's supposed to be. All right, oh, 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 oh. If I could just blast through a couple more of these, that's excellent. Oh no, oh no, I just, uh, well it doesn't matter because I needed a lot more score anyways. Okay, that was really tough though, and it just, it was hard to find a way to make that work properly no matter what, but just sort of stinks. It's fine. Usually we mess up even more than this, so I don't, I don't really mind too much. Excellent. And there we go, order up. There's some stuff for Bulbasaur. And that's gonna get him to level nine. Oh, here we go, our first visit for, um, what is your name? Terra something, right? Look, Zebra, Torterra is here. It's not a Pokemon we usually see around here. Hopefully our yummy offerings turn it into a fan of our cafe. Me too. So yeah, let's definitely get something done with this for Torterra. We'll play a Slurpuff a little bit in order 207. Hmm, everything is covered in honey. We get 120,000 points, 26 honey, and 14 olive pits. Obviously we need to work on the honey and the olive at the same time, so that's a bit of a juggle. That wasn't too bad, but we need a lot of replacements here. Okay, lots of Lucario. Hopefully we actually see Lucario at some point. Like, I don't know if Lucario's shown up for a dish a single time. He wasn't a limited time Pokemon or anything like that, as far as I understand, because all the limited, limited time Pokemon, their icons don't show up after the event is over. So that would be weird. 
at least I don't, well, I think you can only see it really when you're using it. There's a lot of the honey gone. Oh no, that was a mistake. Oh no. Okay, well that get rid of most of the honey. The honey is being really persistent right now. There's one last olive over this way as well. But I can get that without too much issue, right? There we go. Two turns remaining. Let's unlock the honey like that, and then just blast it away. Phew, we got this done in the required amount of turns. I was a little bit worried with that one, but it worked out. All right, orders up. Hope you enjoy your first star, Torterra. We need to get four more. Hopefully you'll show up in a little tea party as well. That'd be nice. But here comes Snubble. Snubble, so happy to be here. All right, friendship bonus now active. Who do we got going on for this one? It's Starling. Um, that's not what I meant to do. There's still some Pokemon I'll have to check out. You're like, we haven't had the chance to get Jigglypuff. Like, maybe I should just check that out regardless today. I feel like I might do that. Um, because you know, it'll always recommend certain Pokemon I'm just not using, and that's sort of a shame. I mean, it, it would recommend any Pokemon I've always used. Um, 50,000 points, eight whipped cream, 16 vegetables. We'll see if matching up over here is a good idea. I feel like it could be, it also could not be. But the horns are sort of an interesting situation, but I guess it's where um, the ability comes in. Oh, and that gets rid of all the whipped cream containers already. That was quick. So I'm hoping if I just clear out this space continuously, that would help, but maybe not. And at least it's a guaranteed takedown of all that stuff. Maybe I should just blast this. That should make some more horns as well. I guess the only issue I have now is the vegetables. Because even that, not too bad. Okay, try that out. Just one more veggie. Oh yeah, this should be it, really. And now I just gotta get a decent score. Yep, uh, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, I see a bunch of Starling. That'll definitely be 7,000 points. It'll actually be twice that much, almost. Uh, okay, so we get three bonus stars. That was a pretty easy one, too. The difficulty is weirdly fluctuating right now. Um, here's Togepi, hi Togepi. We'll use Snubble for order 209. I think we'll use whatever Pokemon we want though in the tea party. Order 209, 90,000 points, 16 sugar cubes, and eight olives. I can see this one being a bit of a challenge, but that should break a good chunk of the cheese. Lots of Snubble falling in now. Let's do that one more time. Hmm. Right there. Oh, the triple shot working pretty well. And that got rid of all of it. I'm pretty sure some of those olives were full though. So maybe, maybe if you do that, it'll count as like a one hit takedown. That'd be fascinating. I'm just gonna get rid of that for right now. I know that's gonna get some of it covered in olive oil, but it's fine. Right about there, I guess is fine. That was sort of an issue, but I think we can do this. All I really have to do here is do something like that and then activate it. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. So there's order 209 done. Snubble making a tasty dish for Togepi. Togepi's super happy about it too. Okay. So next up, we are going to do our last order, our last main order of the day. It's going to be uh, for Charmander, be a double star. Looking good. Oh, tons of marshmallows, all encased in ice. And we get caramel, 120,000 points, 36 marshmallows, 10 caramel, and two horns. Honestly, this one could be worse though. Almost got all of it there. Fantastic. 
So you're really just going to make a big combo like that. Maybe make another one. Okay, excellent, because now we can, wow. We can get that, get a bunch of the marshmallows at once. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done it the way I did it though, it's sort of weird. But now I can break the marshmallows as I'm making a combo for everything else, so. That didn't work exactly the way I wanted it to work, but not too bad. Tons of Pikachu. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. With seven turns remaining, I am still getting a bit concerned. We'll give this our best shot. All the ice is broken, which is nice. It's nice to break the ice. But can we do it twice? <laughs> okay, now I'm just being silly. I think we can do this now. Oh my. That one marshmallow down there is sorta of, kinda of scaring me. But it's not available right now to even break, so we're not gonna worry about it. Instead, we're just gonna do this. Okay, that got rid of a good chunk of them. Ooh, oh no. This was a mistake. I'm gonna have to extend it anyways. Oh darn. That's fine. Yep, spend that a little bit. Not a ton of connections there, but... Oh, and we still need to use one more horn anyways. This wasn't the best choice, was it? Oh, oh, there it is! Wow, the perfect angle! <laughs> Definitely not what I should have done but it worked out, so I'm glad about that. So there's two additional stars for us for Charmander. Nice, so four stars in total. I mean, Charmander's already level two, so if it takes a while, it takes a while, is what it is. So it'll be starting with order 211 next episode, but Bulbasaur and Blossom. I do have one chance to refresh here to see if we can't get anything new. Yes, Torterra, that's what I wanted to see. Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, so we do have Meowth as an option here, which I don't think we've really, I mean, we've played as Meowth a little bit, so I'm fine with that because I feel like Meowth is one of the ones I, I could play with more though and enjoy. So we'll do Meowth this time. And we got tons of mayonnaise for this one. I feel like Meowth does pop up a lot for these, though. These um, tea party ones. This level looks like it could be quite challenging now. Just trying to clear everything out is not proving easy. I probably should use Pikachu there. There's a lot of yellow. There's a lot of yellow. It's hard to point out the Pikachus. Okay, that was fine. Hmm. All right, I'm very focused in on this one because it's just so hard to parse out Pikachu from all the honey at times. And it's just so messy. There's stuff everywhere, right? <laughs> this is what it's like when I'm actually cooking. It's just a big mess. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and, yeah, Meowth has like the slice. That's very cool. Slicing up that onion. So we're, we still have one honey to take out. It's very likely encased in olive oil somewhere, so I don't see it. Ooh, I'm getting a little nervous about this. Is there so much popcorn around still? Where is, oh, the honey block is right there. I'm not gonna worry about it for the time being. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. We will see. Ooh, okay, wait. Oh no, darn. I tried to get the popcorn block. It'll just a little popcorn kernel up there. It didn't quite work. I'm just going to redeem and do that. I'm sure there was a better way to do this. Maybe I should just use the power by the chance on the right side, one of those um, bonus power-ups. But it is what it is. We get a bonus star there for Torterra and Meowth. And we'll get another two in just a moment. So Torterra's are almost done being unlocked. And can we use Jigglypuff this time? No, Jigglypuff was showing up, but... You know, I'm satisfied using Meowth for today. Uh, so I think we'll just move forward with that. And we'll, if, it's, if it's recommending Squirtle for us here, let's use Squirtle. Okay, 45,000 points and 22 sugar cubes. Seems simple, but will it really be? 
Because even these levels are starting to get a lot more difficult, it seems. So I had to extend it, which usually isn't something I have to do for the, uh, the tea party levels. Yeah, this one is definitely complicated. Like, it's just a bunch of whipped cream. Oh, that's gonna get rid of a ton of it if we angle it just right. It could have been more, even, if I had more time to mess with that, but that was a good majority of them. I can't complain about that. Okay, I wanted the Eevee there. Oh, tons of Squirtle as well. We'll do the Eevee next time. Okay, that was certainly good. Hmm. I might just do that for right now, because I think there's only two whipped cream after that. No, there's five. Oh, I didn't see those two up there. Okay, I understand now. So let's do that. And then just this one. Gotcha. With two turns left over, there's our last order of the day coming right up for Torterra and for Meowth. Very good, so chances are really high that next episode we can unlock Torterra all the way. Definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> Uh, but party time is over. Awesome stuff, I had lots of fun. Let's also check out the menu because I want to um, see the description of the newest meal we got here. This is the Ice Cube Caprice Salad. Yeah, the little Ice Cube penguins are called Ice Cube. Um, a cooling Caprice Salad, well, like Ice Cube. Drizzle a gorge or generous amount of olive oil and enjoy. So yeah, it's an interesting way of looking at a salad. I mean, I suppose it is one, but it's like these little tomato sandwiches. Never seen a meal like that before. Let me know if you have. Um, I don't think there's really too much more we wanted to look at besides that. I know there's still more Pokemon. We haven't really properly checked out too much. Uh, hopefully we get there. For right now though, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.